Hey guys, it's Heather from HMP Artistry here, and I wanted to talk to you about a new web series that I'm going to be doing, and it's going to cover everything from my favorite YouTubers in the soaping community, to the ingredients we use in our soap, to what the individual um, items are in bath and body products, from bath bombs and lotions to soaps themselves just to give a feel for the individual pieces and components that are involved in the soaping industry. I've also had a lot of questions recently um, from the farmer's market where I'm selling my products with people wanting to know what certain ingredients are. Um, people that have been watching other YouTube videos of say makeup gurus or things like that where they don't quite know what the ingredients are and so when they come to me and they ask questions and I explain the ingredients, they, they were confused initially and didn't understand how they worked or what they were or do you use it. Um, and so I'd like to address some of those things and give uh, a more well-rounded view of why as a soap maker I use the products that I use, why I use the ingredients that I use. And maybe even eventually talk to some other soap makers. Um, I'm looking into doing hangouts where we can all get together online and have open discussions about coconut oil or uh, olive oil or mango butter or those types of things that, that we use when we make products. But to start the video out, what I'm going to do is talk to you about some of my favorite soap makers. I have 24 of them. I know it's a lot. I subscribe to a lot more. Um, so if you're interested, go to the down bar below. I have all 24 of these soap makers listed with a link so that you can follow them because they are all worth the follow. Uh, and also, if you want to check out my list of subscribers, uh, or subscriptions that I subscribe to, you can look at that list and go through and check out all of those soap makers because they're all some pretty incredible people. And um, so I guess without further ado, so let's look at my notes. That's why I keep looking down. I have notes written so I don't get off track. And now let's start with our first YouTuber. Now this YouTuber is Kevin Devine. He was the very first soap making YouTube YouTuber I ever subscribed to. He doesn't do soap videos at the very least right now. He, he stopped doing them a couple of months ago, but all of his information is still completely valid. Every soap video he has is worth the watch. Um, his company is Divinely Designed, and he used to do weekly videos, and when he did them, they were why I use this oil, why I use this additive, why this fragrance, why this container for packaging. Really, really in-depth and detailed and worth the, the watch, even now when he's not posted in a little while. Um, Jen from a and Suds and Such. Now, Jen also with Lori owns Be Scented, and you can buy products from her, and I'm going to include her as well in my next video, which will be a video about um, the YouTube channels for suppliers that I have gone to and watched and subscribed to. But Jen does videos usually a weekly, if not a little bit more, and she's kind of awesome. She she has her kids that are sometimes in her videos, and it's really fun and really relatable. And I appreciate that she shows that side of her life because it makes when I show that side of my life feel okay, and I appreciate that. Uh, we all know royalty soaps, Katie, um, Kenny, and Caleb, as well as the babies. We love them. We love her. She just recently um, brought her brother on as a content creator for the company, which I think is spectacular. He's making his own soaps. So it's really cool to see those steps that she's taken to go from a business at home to a full-fledged company. It, it's pretty incredible to, to be able to see goals that I have personally visualized. Um, there in a YouTube video. 
Then we have essential soaps, and that's Kimberly McNutt. Now, Kimberly has a store called the Cornerstone Market, and she films in her store. So you're seeing the process of making the products for her store with her, with her employees, when she brings in her um, essential depot orders, when she brings in her fragrance and essential oil orders, you get to see those things. So you actually see the behind the scenes process of running that business, which is really inspirational. Uh, Yellow Cottage Soapery, and that's Stacy. Stacy is fantastic. She is the queen of soap piping. She pipes flowers and designs. She's extremely creative. Her soaps are beautiful, and it's really fun to listen to her talk about her life and her kids and her husband and all of the things that are going on in her world. It, it makes you feel closer to the people that you're watching on YouTube. And she really is a genuine artist and everyone should subscribe to her. She also has a Facebook page that we should, everybody should subscribe to. Uh, Eden Secret, and that's Miss Karen, and we all love Karen. She shares everything from how she boxes her products, how her products are made, um, what she uses, why she chooses to, to use a fragrance or not. Just really, really great information. And she's one of those soap makers that has a really big heart. And you can tell it when you watch her videos. And it, it kind of makes me warm and fuzzy every time she posts. And um, she posts almost weekly. Sometimes there's a little bit more of a gap, a little bit less of a gap, but it's almost weekly. Uh, we have Royal Appleberry, and that's Kenny the Messy Soaper. Kenny used to make soap as her side gig, and now it's her full-time job. She makes soaps and candles, and she is incredible. And it's great to watch her make her soaps um, because she makes them, and even when there's a mistake or color doesn't work out or um, if something rises or moves really fast, you get to see on the spot how she recorrects or redirects or makes it work and her soaps always turn out really beautiful uh then and she posts uh weekly to monthly depending on what she has going on at any given time then we have missouri missouri river <laughs> soaps and that's holly holly is great at packaging she just did her 4th of July box and she shows the packaging of her 4th of July box orders and she explains why she chooses the shipping she chooses and then she also does a really cool thing, same thing Sin City Soap does, which is a long version and a short version of her soap making videos. That way, if for some reason you don't have a lot of time and you can't watch the whole video, you have the ability to watch the shortened version and still be able to give her that um that view and that like and that comment to tell her how awesome you think you that she is and also you have time to see that gorgeous soap even if you can't watch the whole video so i i greatly appreciate that uh we have Ariane arsenault and that's a r s e n a u l t and it's la fille de la mer she is in canada um, she does videos every one to two weeks. She's really extremely informative, extremely creative. Um, her business used to be in the basement of her house. She now has a full-fledged building, which is incredible. I, it's something that I aspire to. She's also the only person on this list that I am a Patreon patron for. And so, um, it, she's definitely worth the watch. She is definitely worth the follow. She gets back to people that ask her questions. Just a really, really good person in the soaping community that's willing to share that information with other people. Uh, we have, and she, yeah, every one to two weeks she posts a video. We also have Wickedly Goods, Wicked L-E-E -E, Goods. And she just has fun videos. She tells it like it is. She tells you what she thinks of the fragrance when she puts it in the soap. She tells you what she thinks of the colorants she's using. And it's really fun to watch her. Definitely worth the follow. Uh, you have Amy Warden. And she does monthly-ish videos. And she will show... Um, 
I think her last one was turmeric and egg white, if I am remembering correctly. And those videos, she has video one, video two, video three, and it's the different times she's tried it to make it work. And for me, that's great because sometimes when I make a soap, it doesn't turn out. I get so frustrated. And it's good to know that with other soap makers, it happens too. And that it is a trial and error process sometimes because I've been making soap for 17 years. And sometimes I think I'm just, it's supposed to work. And when it doesn't, I get frustrated. And so now she gives me that, that ability to say, no, it happens to everybody, it's okay. And she also does um, collaborations and challenges, soap challenges. And so she's worth watching for that alone, much less all the other information that she gives you. Uh, let's see. We have Kenna with Modern Soap Making. Now, Kenna hasn't done a video in quite some time. Uh, the videos that are on there, though, are still fully viable, workable videos with lots of really good information. And Modern Soap Making also has a Facebook group that you may want to follow for even more information for a files um, area where you can get information from other soap makers, recipes, things like that. It's definitely worth your time to do it. Um, <clears throat> then we have Dirty Booty Soaps, and that's Kathleen. Kathleen's fantastic. She's really creative. She's got a really great sense of humor, and she shows how she makes almost everything. She's kind of like me in that way. If she's going to make it, she's probably going to film it. And um, it's really cool to see her perspective and why she chooses to make certain videos. Uh, and she does weekly to monthly, depending on what's going on in her world. Then we have Vibrant Soaps, which is Clyde. And if you guys don't know Clyde, you have to follow him. He is a true artist from beginning to end, choosing colors and design and fragrance. Informative, really, really incredible heart, soft-spoken, really cool guy, definitely worth following. Then we have B from Sorcery Soaps. I love B. B makes me smile every time I see the notification pop up because I know it's going to be something fun and interesting and creative and magical. And the so Sorcery Soaps. The soap she recently posted was the Harry Potter sorting hat. And um, she will show you things like how she made the hat or she has a video on how to make baby dragons out of soap dough. It's incredible. I still can't make a baby dragon out of soap dough. I make a lot of things out of soap dough. Cannot make that baby dragon, and I want to so bad. Uh, so follow B at Sorcery Soaps. Ophelia's Soapery. Her soaps are beautifully made, beautifully poured. Um, she does weekly videos, but she also has incredible packaging. Uh, she, even her samples look beautiful. She hand stamps all of her boxes and she even has videos where she shows how she does her packaging. And I am grateful for that because it, it shows that that hand care and that hand, um, that hand stamping and those details really are important. <laughs> now we have Jen. I love Jen. Jen is fantastic. Jen does live videos. Um, she's very interactive with the people that watch her YouTube videos. It's one of the reasons I think she's spectacular. And um, she shows why she makes her soaps, what her reasoning was. If she comes up with something new or she finds a new tip or trick, she's happy to share it. So definitely everyone should follow her. She does um, weekly at least sometimes more than weekly, a couple of times a week. She does a mailbox minute where she gets in really cool new stuff and she shows everybody what that is. And, uh, and she's just fun, really, really fun, really great hearted human being. Uh, Future Primitive Soaps, Tiggy, she does weekly to monthly videos and she kind of talks about her life. She does sort of some chit chat along with making really beautiful, detailed, intricate soaps. So you get that cool interaction of a human being and having that kind of one-sided but not conversation. And then you get this gorgeous soap as well. Um, I think we have six people left. We're at Renee or at Denise. Denise is from Simply Loved Soaps. 
Uh, she is super creative and she does reviews of some of the, the different products she gets as well as the bee scented box that they do monthly. And she does a great review. She's got a really good heart. Another one of those soap makers that when you hear her talk about a product, talk about something that she's making or doing, you know that she's one, being honest, two, that she really believes and feels what she's feeling. And for me, that's a great connection to have with, with someone else in the soap making industry. Uh, we have Soap for Love, which is Renee, and Renee is fantastic. Renee takes donations of soap to give to the homeless, um, and she does videos showing other people's soaps that they've sent her and donated to her. She makes her own soaps. She does soap challenges where she has set up a specific theme, and then a bunch of other soap makers will all make the soap, and they release their videos at the same time. And um, it's really fun to watch. And I love it when that day happens because I have all these notifications and I'm like, well, I know what I'm doing this weekend. Um, but just if you see this, Renee, hi. I'm really, 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 really happy that I'm subscribed to you. Uh, we also have Sin City Soaps. And they do, like I said, with Missouri River Soaps, um, they do the long and the short version of their videos. And that way you can do, you know, consume the video in the way that fits best. And they do their soaps, their bath bombs. Um, they even make uh, epoxy soap dishes. Couldn't think for a minute, sorry. Epoxy soap dish videos that are super, 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 super cool. Um, and they're really fun to watch. And their videos are usually more than weekly. Um... Next up is Patrick from Soapy Oaks Farm. Patrick is one of those people that has a great heart. He, he's one of those soap makers that when I know I have a video to watch, it makes me smile just to know that, oh, it's Patrick. Um, and he he's one of those that shares really great information about why he chooses the ingredients he chooses, um, why he's making the type of soap that he's making. He also has great videos where he takes you out onto the farm and shows you the property and different trees or plants and what they do. And he has baby goats. I mean, come on. Who's not going to watch a video with baby goats? They're baby goats and they're so precious. Uh, then we have Gypsy Faye Creations. It's Tiara and she's spectacular. She is one of the most creative soap makers I have found. She does, um, She's done some Harry Potter soaps. She did a Wizard of Oz soap that was just mind-blowing. She's done some Game of Thrones soaps. I mean, she's, if you want to see something creative, something that's going to inspire you, something that's going to make you say, wow, this is an incredible soap, watch Gypsy Fake Creation soaps videos. Worth every bit of it. Um, because it is. Every time I watch her videos, I'm like, ooh, that, that would be cool. What what could I do that's in that realm of thought process? And you can tell that she puts a lot of time and effort and energy and love into the soaps that she makes. Um, last, but for sure not least, I'm so out of breath now. Last, but for sure not least, is the Soap Gal. And that's Joanna Couch. And she does videos every few months. She owns a company... Um, and she does a lot of wholesale soap making. So she has some bigger equipment, bigger batches, but she tells you really great soap making business information. So she will tell you things like um, why buy in bulk, or um, she uses bread pans as her uh, molds. She, she's just incredible, truly, truly deep down incredible and the fact that she's willing to share the information she shares is so valuable not only that but she's so excited about soap making that that excitement is contagious and i inevitably know that i'm going to do something after i watch her videos whether it's make a soap or design something for my business or plan for my business because she's motivational Watching her videos is motivation. 
but I think you guys, she was the last one on the list. And of course the list is totally and completely random. It's just how they lined up in my feed this, this uh, afternoon when I went through and grabbed everybody. Um, but definitely leave in the comments down below. Let me know if there's anyone else that you guys really, really love to watch that maybe I haven't mentioned or that isn't on my ticker in my little subscribers box so that I know to check out any new soap makers that I may have missed and so that other people know of those soap makers. Uh, remember, I'll have the list of everyone in the um, information bar down there somewhere. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, to hit the little bell for me, for everybody else. Um, the more comments, the more likes you get, the more subscriptions you get, the more it helps your YouTube channel, and the more it helps your YouTube channel, the more you can grow. And that's always a really, really great thing. And if you guys have anything that you'd like me to talk about or to explain, or if there's somebody you'd like me to interview, let me know and uh, I'll see what I can do. But for now, this is Heather from H&P Artistry wishing you luck, love, and a great day. Bye, guys.